Welcome back guys. This is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see how to perform one-hot encoding for categorical attributes in Python. So in the previous video, we have seen uh, label encoding and the result we have got is here. So this is the label encoded uh, value. Now we are going to see how to perform one-hot encoding. So here also we can uh, use uh, one-hot encoding in like two ways. The first way is to use the sklearn library. So from sklearn dot preprocessing import one hot encoder and uh, initialize the one hot encoder. So I will call it as uh, ohe. That's like a short form of uh, one hot encoder. Now this is the initialization. After doing that, uh, we can uh, get the one hot encoded columns. First, let's see how it looks like on hot encoder dot fit transform transform of df of season. So this is the attribute we have to perform one hot encoding. Run this. Okay, you have to give it as like a 2D array. So in order to give it as like a 2D array, you can uh, go like this. So this give us a sparse value. So if you want to get the values and see, it means you can use two array. Okay, underscore won't be coming. Now this is the one hot encoded uh, values. So, so we will see how it represents. For each category, it will create a separate uh, column for this. So now we have around like uh, six rows because uh, the data set have like uh, six rows and uh, four columns. So four column represents four unique categories. So that's why we are having like four columns. So if you, any one, one of the category is present, it will represent as one. So the first category is summer. So if summer is present means it will represent as one and remaining categories will be represented as zero. So now uh, let's combine this. So if you want to concatenate uh, with the data frame, so I will call it as one hot encoded values equals the same. And after getting the values, I will convert this into a data frame. So one hot encoded DF equals PD dot data frame of on hard encoded uh, values. So after combining into a data frame, we can combine into the original data. So I will call the final data frame as encoded df equals pd dot concat of the two data frames. That is the original data frame and one hot encoded uh, data frame. And combine based on columns. So that's it. Let's display the data now. Okay, I think everything is done. Okay, now we can uh, clearly see. So this is the result of uh, label encoding and this is the result of one heart encoding. And uh, summer represents the second uh, column. So that is one and atom represents the zeroth column that is here represent as one and everything else is zero. So this whole array value will contain only zero or one. Uh, it means uh, whether the category is present or not. So it will be much more easier and uh, this kind of one-hot encoding will be very useful if you are uh, using some uh, simple models like logistic regression or linear regression. This will be very helpful. And uh, while doing one-hot encoding, you can uh, ignore uh, one category. So I will explain that in detail uh, using another method. Second on hot encoding method using pandas. So this is the another one. This will be much more uh, simpler. So I will call it as encoded df equals pd dot get dummies get dummies the data frame prefix equals I will just pass the season value 
so season so for each column this will be the prefix uh, for the column name and uh, the column we have to convert so that will be columns equal season season first let's display this data and uh, see the information how it is here you can see i dropped the original values because uh, we didn't need that uh, values so it will automatically drop that and again it does the same thing and we are getting the same values using like a single line so for one hard encoding this will be much uh, easier compared to uh, these number of steps and also i have said uh, we can drop one column from the category that is drop first equals true and this now you can see the atom category is dropped so why we are doing this now let us see these uh, three categories so if summer is present it represents as one so if all the categories are zero means the other category will be automatically uh, represented as one so that is the intuition behind it so this is also very helpful while uh, calculating the parameters there will be some constant value if you are uh, using one hot encoding try to drop uh, one categorical uh, value from it even if you have like uh, categories of uh, two values just drop one value because in the end it will be represented as a true or false uh, column so now you can see if all the values are zero means the other will be represented as uh, one so for that you can use this uh, drop first uh, equals true so that's it guys this is how you can use uh, one hard encoding if you want a different uh, prefix means you can also change it and uh, this is a easier method uh, you can uh, do to perform uh, one hard encoding compared to this if you have any queries about this uh, leave a comment below i will definitely answer those and uh, if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos see you guys in the next video